Hello my friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How is everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I want to share this journal that I made with you. And uh, it's, uh, little, it's I worked with a little bit of different uh, color scheme today. And so it's, uh, I'm in love with it actually. <laughs> so let me show you what I, what I got here. So uh, this is a little recipe card journal like I've been making uh, with the recipe card covers. And uh, you can see I, I've been using the kind of red patchwork fabric. It has a lot of reds and blues and yellows. And I'll show you why. See this, this cover right here? It has some green right here. And it has green leaves when I show you the card, the recipe card in a second. It has green leaves. So that inspired me to maybe go with the greens here. So I've got this pretty green, uh, it's actually kind of a mint green uh, fabric tie closure and it's gingham so I've got that for the tie closure very pretty fabric that I received from a friend in Happy Mail quite a few years ago now and I'm still using the fabric that she sent me and loving it so <laughs> thank you to you you know who you are and um, so on the cover I've been tuck tucking in a little something that is handmade by me like a tag or something like that so this um, I don't know if I made this actually. Someone might have sent me this too, but I had, did have some of these, so I I have no idea. But I think someone might have sent me this. Anyway, it's a cute little booklet with, and it had a green and white, so that's why I put it with this with go with my greens, and it's a little booklet. So so cute, right? And it's just kind of uh, some scrapbook paper, one sided, just a few really pretty little sheets of that. So room to write in here too or whatever. Uh, so cute with this little owl. And then the cards I used on, the recipe cards I used on this little journal is, this is a raspberry parfait. Here, see, here's my green leaves that I was talking about. Here's some pretty red raspberries there. But red, I mean raspberry parfait on the front of this one and malted milk ball freeze on the back. I love the pictures on these cards. They're so cool. I love to look at them and just look at everything in the picture. You know what I mean? Like the placemat, the ice cream scoop, a little paper. Looks like a cloth napkin there. Just all the colors and everything. Same with this. The black and white background there on the table or whatever. And just the beauty of these glasses and everything. So anyway, I am. they kind of intrigue me. So, and then here's what I use on the spine, this, this gingham. Now this one, this fabric I picked up at a thrift store. And it's a little thicker, like I think it was originally a cloth napkin. So it's a little thicker fabric, if you can picture that. And then I cut it with, I've used this before, and I think it, if I remember right, it's, it was fraying a little bit. Uh, I, I hope it was, you know, I hope it, I think it was okay in the end. But I just didn't want it to fray. Uh, as much as the past one was fraying so I cut it with my pinking shears here there across the top and the bottom all cut with pinking shears and here on the back and then I use green and white uh, baker's twine to to you know bind it so let me put this is the little goodie pack and I'm not going to show this the last couple that I made have of these have been uh, ordered so this is a made to order you know, I've got this on a made-to-order listing, so I had got another order for one. So I'm not showing this so it can be a surprise for the person that ordered. But going with that green and, or the green are kind of like, you know, this light green, kind of greens theme. I made a little cluster. I have a lot of clusters made already, but I didn't have any with green in them. So I took a piece of my old, if you watch my um, reorganizing videos of my craft room, I show you where I cleaned out my kind of linens drawer that I have in my guest room. And if you haven't seen that, I, I can link it below. I'll just link my craft room reorganization playlist below. But I took a piece, a couple pieces from that. This was a trim on a linen. This was from, I think, that same one, but another part of it. It's really gorgeous on here, I think. And then a piece of this fabric here, I put in the middle of those. And topped it with that pretty yo-yo there. And I get my yo-yos uh, from a Etsy shop on Etsy, which I, have, which I have shown you in the past. So front and back cover I left like I have been doing with the cup, with the recipe inside, not covering it up. And using these clear pockets 
So in this pocket, I have a few pieces of ephemera that I have made myself, you know, from copies and things and printouts. And they're coffee dyed and things like that. So they're really kind of cool, I think. Especially, look at this one. This is a receipt. And this is, uh, this might be avocado dyed. I don't, it looks like it is. Yes, it definitely looks like it's avocado dyed. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I think it is. <laughs> so that pocket is like this. You enter it like this. And all these pockets come with a little thumb opening there. And then I ran out of those pockets I was using in the last few journals. Uh, they were from a little organizer or something. And they were, already had pockets. So I had to make a pocket. So I looked around. And lo and behold, I had in my the already out here. Because I still have all my recipe journal stuff out. I'm still working on three more and so uh, this little green piece of cardstock was in there I was like oh my goodness that is so perfect with all my green so I made that my first cardstock page which I said I like to have the first pages of my signature cardstock so it kind of protects the paper pages inside so and in here I also had this out which is like all came together so uh, awesomely <laughs> is this key lime pie recipe card it is um, actually a postcard, isn't it cool, uh, vintage, uh, I think I got this at a thrift store with, you know, other recipe things I picked up. Anyway, greens again. <laughs> so <laughs> I thought, oh my goodness, that is so perfect, I have to put that in here. So it's right there. And the other side I've been putting on the others, I did the same thing. One of these little labels that someone can put wherever they want. And this, uh, I showed you this in my last recipe card journal where I had colored a couple of these little Tim Holtz paper dolls. So that is the blue one that I showed you, or kind of turquoisey one. So those are there to have fun with. Everything's paper clipped in, so the person that gets this can just have the freedom to make this their own. A vintage piece of note paper. This is a printout that I had printed out a long time ago. Beautiful roses. And I didn't want to cut off the top here, so I just folded it over so it's a little decoration on this side. This is the certificate that is, uh, I'm trying to think if this is coffee dyed. I think it's coffee dye and writ dye. On the back is a belly band with my kitcheny appliance car cardstock scrapbook paper. Here's a little vintage uh, coupon or ticket that is, uh, it expired or it has the date on here of September 3rd, 2018. So this is definitely vintage. I found it at a thrift store and I think I coffee dyed it because I, it doesn't look, I mean it could have been this or color original but I think I may have coffee dyed that. I'm not sure. And then this is just a little piece of paper I had and it coffee dyed in my, in my papers to use in journals, you know what I mean? This too, this is a uh, this is a printout from a digital kit from Studio 28E. She, um, Sherry has this digital kit in her shop with this record. And I made it, I think I made a journal with this and used this as the front cover on, you know, on a, over a hard, I had put this over a hard cover, I believe, and made a journal of that. But I had that left. Coffee dyed, as you can see here, some markings. And a pink dyed uh, recipe I mean, guest check that is pink dyed with food coloring. Another piece of vintage note paper. I like to have things with lines and things with plenty of writing room. Here is a little letter that is a French letter and it's one that I printed out and coffee dyed again. A coffee dyed little piece of ephemera. And everything is held in with paper clips. Notes from a. Uh, this is this page is. A kind of thick paper or almost cardstock and it's from that that organizer where I had the pockets and it had some of these pages in here too with notes the word notes on it I've used all the pockets but I have a few of these left here's the calendar I've been putting a calendar page in the middle of each one and guess what I picked up by total coincidence I didn't even really realize it when I put it in here <laughs> that it was green I looked back and I was like oh my gosh that's the green one and yeah it like I said, it all came together so crazy. But um, they all had, not. I don't think every page had writing on it, but uh, some of the pages did. And this lady had beautiful, I think has beautiful handwriting. So there is some handwriting here. But whoever gets this, if they don't like that, they can cover it up, you know, with a little piece of note paper or decoration or something. That's what junk journaling sometimes is all about. 
just kind of using your imagination to do what you want to do, right? So paper clipped on here is also a pink heart doily. And so where this is the back half, here I have a fold out, that French letter, the note paper, the envelope in this one. Of course, I had to look for a green one, green one, right? Of course I did. So I found this one. This is gorgeous green for, for one thing. And then it has this really beautiful, I love this. It kind of looks retro. I don't know if it is vintage, but I got it at a thrift store. Does it have a date right there? Oh, I think it does. Maybe. I can't really see it very well. But whoever gets this, if they want to see, it's either a date or maybe the um, brand or something there. So anyway, it's a beautiful green envelope <laughs> that I put in here for my green theme recipe card journal. So here's that note paper that I said I had, just had. And I had put a little trim. This is like a that sticker trim that you get. Uh, I'll make sure it's all glued down. I've had I made these a long time ago and I just had them <clears throat> in my paper stash. <clears throat> Sorry. And see this this blue right here, that is where the lines, these blues, I don't know if this was a blue line under here. It may have been, but the blue lines ran. And isn't that cool? I really like that. And then certificate here. On this page I have clipped, I've been putting some of my game score sheets in here in these journals. So I've got this is a very old uh, bridge score sheet. Isn't that neat? I, I said, I, I told you in my last video, I said I have these in all different shapes and sizes. And I just really think it's, it's so interesting to see how, you know, the different sizes and how they look. And this is another one that is, a lot of you have seen this type. And one time in a thrift store, I found a bundle of them. They're like pads of paper uh, on these type. And I found like, I don't know, eight eight pads of these uh, score sheets like that was a good day right <laughs> and then uh, this is the perquacky that I've been putting in so I just kind of folded it up to fit in here so cool I love those and so let's see where my paper clip go hello there it is I got myself a new sweatshirt here isn't it pretty I got it at Dollar General uh, so cool. I hadn't found any pretty ones and I found this one. It's very soft and I love it. So anyway, no, no paper. And this is the last page, the cardstock page, the green, you know. And so whoever gets this can decorate these pockets. You know, I was so tempted to put something on here, but I was like, no, this is for them. This is for them, right? So in here, I've been putting some handwritten recipes and these are very, they look very loved too. So this one is instant Russian tea. I love this. I should copy it, right? So cool. And you start with a cup of tang. I didn't even see that just now. I just now I saw it. It must be easy maybe. Tang, dry, lemonade mix, small envelope twist, one and a half cups of sugar, instant tea, a ground cinnamon or cloves. Ooh, I bet that's good. I don't like hot tea that much, but I might actually like that. That sounds really good. <laughs> I don't actually like hot tea at all. I've never found one that I liked. I tried and tried and tried because I know it's good for you, but mm -mm, can't do it. <laughs> Chai tea. That's the only one I like, and it tastes more like coffee. Anyway, spaghetti sauce, homemade spaghetti sauce right here. And look at this. You know, this lady had it out on her counter or in her recipe book. Probably out on her counter because it doesn't look like it was in a recipe book. But, uh, because I got it loose. But look at this. This lady had it out on her counter using this a lot when she, whenever she made, whenever she made, uh, spaghetti sauce. And look at all the ingredients. Wow. That, that's, it's probably really good, but <laughs> I don't make, make recipes with that many ingredients. So I <laughs> just, I just don't, don't like to do that. Anyway, and then here's one more. On the back cover, this, you know, clear pocket here has this handwritten recipe card, and these are really cute. Oh, look, she went on the back, too. Wow. So this is a recipe for shrimp with wild rice. Yum. Southern Living is from Southern Living. Recipe from the kitchen of Southern Living. Oh, I bet that's good. Shrimp with wild rice. Oh, whoever gets this might want to try that, right? I think, uh, like I said, this has already been ordered, and... So I know the lady that's ordering it, ordering it, my new customer and friend, and she's giving one of these. I think she she ordered the last one from me too. 
<laughs> by the way. And she's giving one of these to a friend. And uh, she said, I think she said a lady likes to cook. Her friend likes to cook. So she can pick which one. <laughs> and actually, she could exchange the recipes and move things around before she even gives it as a gift to decide which which one, which colors, because the other one was the red, white, not red, white, and blue, but you know, the red, blue, yellow colors, and this one's the green. So now she can choose between the two of these, unless she already has somebody in mind for this one. Uh, she can decide how how she wants to do that. So yeah, here's the goodie pack. Same I've been, same as I've been doing. Let me see, did I put anything different in here? I put in here some of my butterflies. That's different. I didn't put that in the last three that I've made. So everything else is kind of similar. So thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed another one. Let me tell you that I am still working on finishing up these. I showed you at the beginning of November where I was working on these ones. They have the hard cover. I started with the hard cover little recipe book. This was, see, this is the original cover with raspberries on it again. And so I've got them uh, at this stage now where I have the covers, I have the spine, you know, and the see the see the uh, baker's twine. I have two signatures in this little cutie, and <laughs> so uh, I have the pages bound. So I I am hoping to finish these up and get them in my shop. So stay tuned because sometimes if you if you wanted one of these, they're not going to be too expensive, and uh, they are. Uh, I sometimes I put get them in my shop before my video comes out. So if if you've watched my videos and then gone to my shop and it's gone, that's why because you know I just I you know that's what I do. <laughs> that's just what I do. Uh, so just keep an eye on my shop if you wanted one of those. And uh, these are super fun. I'm loving making these little recipe card journals. So if you want one of those, one of these, these are inexpensive. I made them on purpose that way. They're like a little either a beginner journal or a journal that if you're not a beginner you can just have fun with and uh, pick up for an inexpensive price because I know I mean I know how things are now you know with the economy and also at this time of year you know you are trying to make the most out of your you know you want to buy a gift you want to buy a nice gift but you need to buy a lot of gifts maybe or even a few if it's just a few you still don't want to just, you know, spend all of your money on one thing, right? <laughs> so, so I, you know, I mean, that's how I am. So I kind of put that kind of attitude toward, you know, when I make something to kind of make it, you know, reasonably priced. So like so these are only, I think these are only $10 plus uh, shipping. So if you need one, order it now so I can get it in the mail, get it done, made, and get it in the mail for you before Christmas, right? I need a couple days at least to get it done, right? <laughs> so I uh, do work full time. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and the, new co the different colors. I just love this color scheme here. And I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Happy crafting.